Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again reacting to Ruby. This is Ruby Volume 4, Chapter 11, entitled Taking Control. Now from what I understand, after this chapter, Chapter 11, Chapter 12 will be the finale for Volume 4, so I'm really excited for that. But this is the one right before the finale, so I expect a lot of things to go down here. I like the title, Taking Control. Something's going on. I wonder if Taking Control in terms of the villains starting to take some control, or maybe our heroes... I don't know, but I'm really excited, and as you can tell, yes, I am sick, I have a cold, it sucks, I'm very sorry, but without further ado, I'm ready, I'm excited, I'm just going to jump into this thing now, let's get into it, Ruby Volume 4, Chapter 11, Taking Control, let's get into it and see what they show us, full screen this thing, let's go, I hate having a cold, <laughs> Is the quality? I'm afraid to hit the quality button. Oh, it's good, okay. About to say, because if I'm afraid if I hit change the quality of the video, it's gonna pause and I have to do the whole thing again. <laughs> the intro. And it's crazy. We've been along this journey and we're almost done <laughs> with volume four. And have a lot a long time before volume five like at least like what seven eight months maybe longer something like that what's well, february so and it started in october last year so march eight months but, but we'll have trailers and stuff like that so hopefully hopefully we'll have like a a trailer like a big trailer or something or or, or a short character piece they did with ruby uh, before Volume 4 was released. Oh, love that shot. I, I'll never get over that shot. I love it. Turn this thing up. She's still weak. Oh! Damn. She's still strong, but... Oh no! What's gonna happen to him? He failed. He failed. What's gonna happen? She'll forgive me. Please forgive me. Tyrion. Your task. Were you successful? No. No. Oh boy. But, but hope is not lost. My tail. My stinger. I. Poisoned him. Crow! He will not be a nuisance to you any longer. No, no longer. I've done that. Have I done well? Have I pleased you? The last eye is blinded. You disappoint me. Oh, so I'll walk away. All right. to say is he about to die all right crying while killing the grim look 
her face was like, oh boy. I had a, a little bit of, a little part of me thought, is Santa going to kill him? I was wrong. No arm. Oh! Oh, nice! That's cool. That's cool. Oh, is she leaving? Oh, she's going to leave, isn't she? Oh, my God. Is she leaving? Dude. Oh, my God. Is she going to go find Ruby? Come on. I don't remember saying that you were ready. Leave her alone. Oh, yeah? Let her go. You going to try and stop me? <laughs> no. I think I'm still too sore after our last fight. I just wanted a better goodbye than a letter. And I also have a question for you. Hmm. Where are you going? Ruby. Ruby. What do you mean? Well, despite asking him numerous times not to, I know that Crow told you where your mother's been at these days. Oh, I didn't think about that. I know how much you want to see her. I've stopped you in the past. And I won't anymore. And we've both read the note. We know your sister is headed to Mistral. So, where are you going? Keep it a mystery? Keep it a mystery? Or is she going to tell us? Yep, mystery. Oh, I knew it. She's leaving. Yes. Someone's going to try to stop her, and she's going to get out. Right? Oh, shit. It's you. Help her. Thank God. Thank God you're helping. I hope you're helping, and I hope you don't screw her over. I would be so pissed off if he's actually working with the dad and brother. I'm like, you piece of garbage. Looks beautiful. Multiple times I wanted to say, especially in the cinder section, like, this looks great. Master Whitley, I... Um, yes, of course. I'll be just a moment. Head to the first floor library. I'll meet you there. Hmm. Now I'm a little suspicious. He's leaving her. I don't know. You need to control yourself. You're talking to me about control. Do you even hear what you're saying? I am basing everything on my reports from your daughter. A daughter you stole. But we are not getting into that. Uh -oh. oh, yes. We have far more pressing matters to discuss, starting with your apparent lunacy. Doc! <sighs> about to say, who's he Winter talking to? Is one of my best. If she's telling me there's a threat in Mistral, then I'm not going to take that news lightly. She's been there for weeks. People are mobilized. The sudden spikes in weapons and dust trade. Someone is about to make a play, and I do not trust Leo to stop them. You've never trusted anyone other than yourself. And for good reason! Oh, I thought a gunshot. Oh, it just listen to me from the start? You need to get a grip. That's exactly what I'm doing. Our people need protection. By this time next week, the Kingdom of Atlas will be officially closing its borders. No one in, no one out. Hmm. Without the Council's permission. You mean without your permission? And if that becomes the case, I would think you'd want to be on my good side. Interesting. Interesting. For sure. Hide. Hide. It's locked. What are you talking about? Wow. Powerful stuff. 
He'll get out eventually. They will. We'll find her. Right? Klein! Klein, where are you? Keep your voice down. I told you I'd be here. Are you sure Mr. is safe? No. But it's where I'll find Winter. I suppose you'll be the only family you have left after tonight. I'll always have you. You most certainly will. Go! Get get out! Get get! No. Let's say come on, go, 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 go. hurt because of me. Blake. Shut up. Do you think I like being alone? Every day. Every day I think about them. Ruby. Weiss. Yang. Yeah. They were my friends. I love them like I never thought I could love anybody. And I hope they hate me for leaving. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. Everyone thinks they can help me, but they can't. You saw Ilya last night, and she is not even the worst. No. Mm. No more. They're better off without me. I made my choices, and I'll deal with the consequences because they belong to me. Mm. You think you're being selfless, but you're not. Yeah. That chameleon friend of yours got me pretty good. But I'd do it all again if I'm in protecting you. Hmm. I can promise Yang would say the same. Yeah. You can make your own choices, sure. But you don't get to make ours. When your friends fight for you, it's because we want to. So stop pushing us out. That hurts more than anything the bad guys could ever do to us. It's got point. Point. But if it makes you feel any better, the next time I go up against Lizard Girl, it won't be for you. It'll be to get even. <laughs> <laughs> get even. My hero. <laughs> oh, dear. Would you look at that? that was good. That was be good. Serious. needed to speak with the two of you. Huh? I'm afraid you were right to be suspicious. What do you mean? Adam Taurus is planning to overthrow the leader of the White Fang and stage a full-scale attack on Haven Academy. It will be the fall of Beacon all over again. Hmm. Not if we destroy the White Fang once and for all. No. We're not going to destroy the White Fang. We're going to take it back. Huh? Oh shit, here we go. Come on, I want to see the beast. The beast. Come on, I want to see the beast. Wait, you guys 
unit? No. Red? Oh my fucking god. Dude! Oh shit! Are you kidding me? You're cutting away? What? No, oh, come on! Come on! Ah! God damn it! You cut away! Why? Alright. Cut away, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, so I really enjoyed this chapter. I really did. I, I I didn't know what to expect because the way the last one ended uh, with this creature that they kind of revealed, but not really fully. Man, they're really holding that off until the the fucking finale. <laughs> um. Wow, they covered everyone's storyline and progressed it in a very good way, in my personal opinion. All of them. Uh, so. For Ruby and them, it was that now all four of them are back together with Crow still against the tree. The creature got revealed at the end. Not really. We saw the horse head and then the demon head. But we didn't see the full body. They're they're holding it off till the finale. I get it. Um body, finale, yeah. I thought like did I rhyme there? No. Um so for Weiss, and I suspected she was gonna get out. My theory though, and I was incorrect, that she was actually gonna be Facing her father and her brother in some sort of way. I don't know if they have fighting skills or not. I don't think so. But I thought that she was going to be confronted by her father or her brother. And I'm not saying that she would kill either of them. But she would knock them down a few pegs and escape. Well, that didn't happen. She escaped. No problem. And uh, now she's off to go find her sister. Which is going to be in the same area as Ruby, I believe, as well. If I remember correctly. But regardless... What has been stated, she is going to go find her sister, which makes sense because her and her sister have a connection and they have a better relationship than her and her father or her brother. So it makes sense she's going to go find her sister. Yang. So at first I thought immediately once she pulled off the tarp to reveal the motorcycle, I'm like, oh, she's going to go get, she's going to find Ruby, not get Ruby, find Ruby and stick with Ruby. And then dad brings up, well, We've all read that note. I think it was a note. We all know where your mother is. I'm like, oh, yeah. I didn't think about it for some reason. And they didn't reveal it. I personally think the reason why they did not reveal where she's going, to either go find Ruby or go find her mother, I think it's because she's probably going to do both. I'm not saying that she's going to go get her mother and then go find Ruby. She might go and confront her mother at some point in the finale, and then towards the end of the finale, during the fight with that humongous creature, she shows up and fights alongside her sister. That's what I think is going to happen. That's my theory for that. Um, and then Blake, obviously, the whole idea of taking down the White Fang, she's like, nope, let's take it back. Interesting twist there, because I was expecting her to agree and say, yes, we should take down the White Fang, because they cannot do a full assault on another school because we're, we've already had the fall of Beacon. We can't have another school falling. I mean, it's just, it would be way too much for this universe. Now, I do think at some point all the schools at some point in the Ruby timeline will be destroyed in one way or another to the point where there is just rogue huntresses and rogue hunters or whatever you call them. I, like I said, I'm really bad with the wording. But rogue hunters out there and... They got nowhere to go. Like they're just out there fighting Grim because I think it's going to be a full fledged war. Because right now it's not a full fledged war between the hunters and huntresses and whatever them and the Grim. It's not a full fledged war yet. They're getting close. Volume three, the Fall of Beacon, that was pretty close, but that was not a full out war where everybody's involved. Like for right now. All we know is that there's particular characters tied into the main characters that are fighting the Grimm, but we don't know what's happening in the rest of the world right now. We don't know exactly. Um, so, my theory, maybe not Volume 5, but at some point there's going to be a full-out war where everybody is involved. Everybody versus the Grimm, 
and it's be a full-fledged assault. Um, but like I was mentioning, I really did enjoy this chapter. I cannot wait for the finale. I'm so excited for that. I can't wait to see what we're going to be shown. What's going to be teased for Volume 5? I'm excited. So I guess I'll give my kind of predictions, and we'll see how right I am when the episode finally is available for me to watch. Um, predictions. I do believe at some point we will see... I, I was mentioning how I think all of Team Ruby is going to come back together towards the end of end of Volume 4. I don't believe that's going to happen. I do think that a part of Team Ruby is going to come together in the, in the finale for Volume 4, the next uh, chapter. Now, that could be a combination of Ruby and Yang. Ruby, Yang, and Weiss. Yang, Weiss, Weiss, Ruby. A variation of part of the team coming together. Because I think Blake is too out outside of everything else that she's not going to be able to show up in the finale. I doubt it in terms of interacting with other original Team Ruby members. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, another one. Uh, let's see. Well, I do believe that Yang is going to find her... Uh, not, not her sister. Her sister's Ruby. Her mother. I do think Yang is going to find her mother, talk to her mother. Not exactly sure what, but my theory is that she's going to go find her mother and then go find Ruby as well. Uh, for Weiss, I think that she's... I don't know if she's going to find her sister, but she might be on her way. I don't know. They, they could cover a lot of ground. Because, see, Volume 3 finale was like, what, 20-something minutes long? Even longer than that, I think. It was like 28 minutes long. It was extremely long. I, From what I remember, it was a long episode. A long chapter, excuse me. That's the right word. So, I don't know. I'm excited to see what vo uh, Chapter 12, the finale, were uh, suspecting is going to be like how long is, is it going to be because I mean if it's like 28 minutes long 30 plus minutes long there's a lot of ground they could cover so a lot of these predictions could happen and we're not even halfway through the episode you know what I mean so who knows but anyways I really enjoyed this chapter like I've been saying I can't wait for the finale it was cool to see Cinder again she still can't talk it was cool to see just everyone's story progressing because uh, a lot of the times, these chapters, we only progress maybe one or two storylines, and that's it. And this one, we progressed all four, and that was really cool. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching my reaction. Let me know in the comment section below, what did you think about this chapter of Ruby? What did you think of Volume 4, Chapter 11, Taking Control? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching my reaction, guys. I'm rambling at this point. I'm just going to go. <laughs> Peace out.